The story you are about to see is a fib, but it's short. The names are made up, but the problems are real. It was Tuesday, 8.43 a.m., and the day had dawned chilly. The skies had darkened in a golf tournament, the Locust Valley closed, reported golf balls the size of hailstones, and canceled play. I was working the day watch out of MathNet. The chief is Joe Greco. My partner is George Frankly. My name is Tuesday. I'm a mathematician. The week didn't start weekly at MathNet. Captain Greco told us there was a problem at Megalopolitan Insurance. Unbelievable as it may sound, they were losing money. The captain said, Well, they've been taking a lot of hits on their insurance policies lately. Hits? Payouts. Oh, of course, uh, paying out money on things that they insured that either got swiped or, or damaged. I want you to go to their HQ and talk with the president, Catherine P. Wilcoll. We were joined by a young man named Stanley Swinnon, a student of Benny Pills, erstwhile driver, undercover cop, and substitute teacher. The four of us met Megalopolitan's president, Wilcoll. She told us her company was losing money on one particular kind of insurance. We asked her what kind, and she said, Auto insurance. Cars? Our policy sales are up 2%. That should make you happy. Sales increases always make me happy. But claims are up 3%. A 2% increase in sales, a 3% increase in claims. Not a big difference. But, Mr. Frankly, 3 is 50% more than 2. Good point. President Wilcoll gave us information about the losses on a computer disk. She told us that her top insurance investigator, Johnny Dollar, had not come up with any answers. You sent for me, Madam President? We met Mr. Dollar, who was not happy we were assisting. And I really resent you having been called into my case. It really makes my ready to burrow over if you catch my drift. Mr. Dollar, we want to work with you, not against you. Well, I'm sorry if I got a little hot under the collar, but I just couldn't help it. Because if I get hot over the collar, then my collar stays sweat and my neck gets slippery. Now, I want to see this case solved as much as the next guy. Unless, of course, the next guy is someone who doesn't want to see this case solved. So you can count on me to help in any way I can help out, help-wise. We told Mr. Dollar we would be in touch and went back to MathNet HQ to plow through the computer data. We were just getting started when our newfound friend ran into the office with a problem of his own. Miss Tuesday, Mr. Frankly, something awful has happened. Are you all right? I am, but... But what? My bike isn't. What's the matter with your bike? It's been stolen. Hey, good morning, Pat. You're in pretty early. Am I? How was your evening? Mine was great. Martha got house seats for an evening with James Earl Jones. He's a fine actor, George. The best. Some critics say he could just sit on stage and read the phone book and keep an audience spellbound. Uh-huh. What was the play? It wasn't a play. You just sat on stage and read the phone book. I'm checking the data Will Call gave us. This is a list of Megalopolitan's offices. Checking the Greenwich Village office? Uh-huh. Let's look at sales. Starting about six weeks ago, the number of policies they sold went up by a lot more than 2%. What about claims? Claims are up significantly, starting four weeks ago and by a lot more than the 3% Mrs. Wilcoll mentioned. Maybe they're insuring a lot of bad drivers. You mean the drivers have more accidents? Maybe. Check out damage claims. Strange. There's not much difference between the actual number of damage claims and the numbers they expected. Then Megalopolitan must be losing their money on car, car thefts. thefts. Indeed. Look at that. The increase in claims is almost totally due to thefts. Given this information, it's surprising that Johnny Dollar didn't find this pattern. It would seem the Greenwich Village office of Megalopolitan might just be the fly in the ointment. The what and the what? Never mind. It's an old saying, George. I have to be an old saying. I'm older than you are. I'm going to call Johnny Dollar and have him meet us there. Capital idea. Good morning, Stanley. Any luck in finding your bike? Afraid not, Mr. Frankly. And since it wasn't insured, I guess I won't be in the Wimpus Bike Show Friday. Now, wait until next year, champ. Yeah. 
Well, Stanley, at least you won't have to walk far to report the theft to the police. That department's just down the hall. I've seen happier-looking groups at a funeral. What happened, George? Did the Dodgers lose again? Stanley's bike was stolen. Bummer, dude. You report it? Not yet. We've got to meet Johnny Dollar. Maybe you could walk him through the drill, Benny. Sure thing. We'll have every cop in New York City looking for that bike. We'll have it back in time for the Wimpus Bike Show. Do you really think so? Nah. Hiya, guys. Let's take this path, eyeball some numbers, and do some math. Well, all right, Daddy. Give me some skin. What? We need some figures about auto thefts from you, Mr. Dollar. I'm way ahead of you in that department, Ms. Tuesday. I'll pull together some figures that are going to knock your socks off. And once your socks are knocked off, then your shoes are going to be too loose, and then you're going to look like that short French painter. What short French painter? Too loose, Lautrec. Notice this bar chart. It shows auto thefts in New York City for the last 11 years. We're not really interested in that information, Mr. Dollar. We want to know what's happened at Megalopolitan. Just trying to give you an overview, Pat. Note this. What does this chart tell us? This chart gives us an overview of auto thefts in New York City for the last 12 weeks compared with the same 12-week period last year. Not much difference. But what about auto thefts in New York City of cars megalopolitan insured? I'm so fast, I scare myself sometimes. Once again, last 12 weeks and the same period last year. Slightly up, but not overly dramatic. It is dramatic, Mr. Dollar. As I mentioned on the phone, the Greenwich Village office... Yes, has... indeed you did, and... Look at this. Now, thefts of cars insured by megalopolitan are up more than double. Yes, well, uh, let me give you a little more background material, George. Last year, 132,237 cars were stolen in Greater New York. That's 2,542 per week, or 362 per day, or 15 every hour, or one, one car, car every four minutes. minutes. On average. That's a lot of cars to turn up missing. Yes, but they're not missing for long. 75% of stolen cars are recovered. 75%? Yes, 75% of stolen cars are recovered, and within four days. And records indicate that there's been no significant change between this year and last. You've talked about auto thefts and recoveries in general, but... What about just the cars insured by Megalopolitan? Hey, how did he know that they were going to try to pry that particular set of data out of this top drawer insurance guy? <laughs> Call me intuitive. Call me prescient. Call me irresponsible. Call me unreliable. Hey, anybody from out of town? Hey, call me unpredictable. Is that the chart? This tells us... Actually, it doesn't tell us anything, does it? Oh, of course not. Who's ever heard of a talking bar chart? I mean, if a bar chart could talk, wouldn't they be a kick in the pants with all those fancy flea buckets on the Upper East Side? I'm Mr. You, Dollar. You're not one for frivolity, are you, Pat? Okay. Megalopolitan averages about 20 car thefts per week, and... 15 or 16 of them are recovered. What about the Greenwich Village office? You're a real bulldog, aren't you? Not so good. We see the increase in stolen cars. Plus the fact that over the last four weeks, hardly any have been recovered. Hmm. Mm. We'll keep in touch, Mr. Dollar. Yeah, well, my brother-in-law used to keep in touch. As a matter of fact, he touched just about everybody you knew for a loan. And he still owes me the better part of a dollar. I'm going to hold him up to public ridicule. Any news on the bike? Not yet, but we filed a report. Hey, Mr. Frankly, where's the other dart? What other dart? You know, the third dart. They always have three darts. This one just came with two. I could have sworn there were... Nope. Two. What are you doing, Pat? A little exercise in problem solving, Benny. Just want to go over the facts again. Want to make sure we haven't missed anything. You guys sure are thorough. You have to be when you're trying to solve a problem, Stanley. Sometimes a tiny little clue can be staring you right in the eye and you can miss it. Just not pick it up. George? Here's something else Johnny Dollar missed. Another pattern? 
Maybe. Look at this. Almost all the stolen cars insured out of the Greenwich Village office were new cars. Scroll down so we can see the rest, Pat. And a lot of them were expensive. Hmm. Pat, can you sort the cars by price? Sure. Sort. Price. Boy, the stolen cars were very expensive. Stanley's right. Those cars are very, very expensive. expensive. Not cheap. Hey, it's late. Time really flies when you're problem solving. I gotta get you home, Stanley. Yes, sir, Mr. Pill. See you tomorrow, Stanley? Yes, sir. And Mr. Pill, can we stop by Central Park on our way home to watch the Wimpus practice? Sure. For a few minutes, why? <sighs> Just to wallow. Come on, cheer up. Now, don't worry about the Wimpus. George, I just noticed something else from this report. Uh-huh. Let me ask you something. If you had a really expensive car, where would you keep it? You mean like a car that costs 50000 or so? Uh-huh. In my bedroom, under my pillow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you mean. You'd rent a garage for it, right? Right. But none of these cars were stolen from a garage. They were parked on the street? Yep. A lot of things in this case defy logic. Here's something else. Johnny Dollar said 25% of the stolen cars were not found, correct? Right. So? So, 75% were found. But according to the Greenwich Village office... 0% of the expensive cars were found. The odds are very much against that happening. I suppose we could calculate the odds. Yeah, but my calculator doesn't go that high. Pat, these thefts must be related. Yep. But how?